extend a very warm welcome to all delegates and participants at the first ever helicopter service uh, helicopter summit in in the country. About two months ago, when Joint Secretary Ms. Padi had visited Uttarakhand, we had uh, discussed this topic. And uh, at that time, we thought that this was a very good idea because for us, helicopter services is extremely important to ensure connectivity in extremely far from parts of the country, especially when the state is prone to natural disasters. And uh, just two months ago, after we discussed this, here we are today at the first summit. Uh, uh, that the state is going to host. And I think that this will be the, this will set the tone for many such summits on a regular basis in future, where all stakeholders can sit around the table, discuss many of the issues that uh, civil aviation has just referred to, and maybe find answers by which it becomes a win-win situation for all of us. The helicopter sector in the country is small and it was distressing to hear from Secretary of Civil Aviation that it appears to be shrinking. But this is not the idea or the impression that we get in Uttarakhand. From our point of view, this sector appears to be uh, expanding at a rapid uh, pace. I recall that in 2002, 2003, uh, we had started the first commercial helicopter service in Kedarna. First tentative steps were taken and Power Hunts was our partner. We had started that service and in the last 15-16 years, this has really expanded. Now we have more than a dozen and a half companies which are in the fray which are providing natural service to devotees and tourists to visit uh, Kedarna. This has now expanded into uh, regular service for Kempunsa. Uh, and the demand for charters for the chart arm is ever increasing. At the same time, the administration has also been making use of helicopters, especially after this huge tragedy which struck the state in 2013 and at that time all the helicopter company had provided proven service in providing relief, in providing uh, evacuation uh, facility to so many people who were standing there. Even recently, last month, we had this huge national, uh, national calamity in one of the very distant park farming areas of the state in Arakko and uh, we were able to deploy uh, helicopters both from the Indian Air Force as well as from the private uh, provider at the state government. And we were able to uh, not only evacuate people who were injured or who were uh, ill, but also provide a lot of relief material in very distant areas where we normally would not have been able to reach in, uh, in almost two weeks of time. Unfortunately, we lost uh, two uh, of our brightest uh, pilots. I take this opportunity to pay homage to these very brave pilots who were providing assistance to civil authorities uh, for people who were in distress and stranded in very difficult areas. Uh, I would uh, take this opportunity to the Secretary just uh, mention as to how we can uh, infuse some new energy into this sector. And the first thing that strikes me is to how we can make uh, the regional connectivity scheme uh, uh, successful. Uh, we are very grateful to the government of India for having uh, awarded a large number of uh, connectivity to, uh, to the many, many small towns and places in Uttarakhand. But unfortunately, we have not been able to start these services. Uh, there is difficulty both uh, 